Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So it's been a long time since I've done a new video and I just want to apologise for that. The reason why I took so long off is because of mental health reasons and also um, because of the new characters. Now I'm not too sure about the new characters. I love the canter that the um, characters do because that looks really realistic. But the reason why I was off is because the new characters were really a shock to me because, like, it's a change from, like, having years of the old characters and it was just it was just a bit of a shock. So coming back into filming was a little bit harder than I expected. But I'm ready to go now. I'm ready to start off new videos and obviously I have a few surprises on the way and, yeah, I'm really excited to show you all. And I can't wait to do some more filming as I love doing it and it always brings me so much joy to do this sort of filming and just be around people that love the same things as me. Now it's time to muck the horses out. So the first thing I do in the morning is muck the horses out. If there's any poops in there that I need to get rid of or any wheeze that I need to get rid of basically. So I just mucked out the horses and I had my um, wheelbarrow around the corner so it was easy to get. I don't think my camera picked that up, but it was just literally around the corner. Um, so yeah, I saw Julia and she gave me a little hello wiggle, um, which they all love doing with their head. And it was so nice to see Julia. Um, it's, it's nice to see all my horses really, as I haven't spent much time with them. I have been in university su studying psychology. So it's been a bit difficult to be able to come down to the stable and muck them out and just spend some time with them really. Um, my mum, she has been looking after the horses and have been riding them. I haven't been riding them at all, so <laughs> yeah, that's really bad. I need to start riding them, actually. So you're probably wondering why I'm not getting the horses out to muck them out. This is because I am just picking out the poos or the wheeze, um, and they're usually quite good with me just going around them while they're while they're snacking at their food or water. I just finished mucking out Juliet, Luna and Maverick. Now it's time to do tequila. Now I have to be really careful with tequila because she loves to bite and buck. This is because she is quite a moody mare anyway and she doesn't really like people being near her. So I had to be really careful when mucking her out and going behind her rear because she will kick me if I get too close. So I had to be really careful of that and be careful of her feet. So I just went round her, mucking her out and taking away any poos that are there. Now it's time to feed the horses. So I went into the um, feed room and I got the horses feed. Um, this is definitely their favourite part of the day, getting fed, because why not? So we've got all the buckets here, Maverick, Juliet, Luna, Tequila and Lee. And then we've also got some treats ready from Jorvik Sweet Treats. I am also an ambassador for them, so really happy. So we got the horses, so I got the horses feed and here I am just grabbing their feed, uh, mixing it all together in their buckets. Um, Juliet has um, supplements in hers because she's an eventer and she competes a lot. She has to have these like, um, these supplements that give her energy. Um, and also tequila has supplements and so does Maverick. The reason being is because they have medical conditions. I think um, Maverick has like a condition with his legs. It's not He's not lame, but he just has a condition with his legs where he has a joint problem. So we're having to work on that. He is only young though. Maverick is only um, six years old now. Um, so he shouldn't be having those, but we're going to the vet for them. So hopefully that'll be okay. So we've finished with the feed and now we are gonna go feed the horses. I've walked past um, Chip, Chip our little pony. He isn't mine, but I always walk past him and give him a little a little wave because it's always nice seeing Chip. He's a really sweet pony. I, it's a shame I can't ride him, he's too small, um, but he is really sweet. So I walked to the horses and I fed them. So I'll let you enjoy this little montage. Good girl tequila. 
Well done. Okay, so now we have finished feeding the horses and mucking them out. I am honestly really tired. Even though I've only done a little bit, it's been really hard getting back into the swing of um, doing the horses again because I've had a little break. Um, but yeah, uh, I am now going to set up some jumps. So I'm going to have a little talk while I'm setting up the jumps for Juliet. I am going to do a little vo voiceover. Oh, I got, I got my words mixed up then. So I have recently opened up a small business on Instagram. Um, some of you watching this might know already and have been um, shopping from my shop. But I have opened up a small business shop in Jorvik called The Crunching Cobs, um, inspired by Juliet, no not Juliet, inspired by Maverick, Lee and Tequila, um, because they're all cobs, oh and Luna. Uh, so yeah, I opened up a small business and I'm really excited to be able to share that with you guys. I will put up the link in the description in the end of the video for you guys to check it out if you have Instagram. If you don't, um, not to worry, uh, hopefully I'll be able to find another way for you guys to see it. So yeah, I have loads of different treats up there that are handmade in Jorvik in Moorland where my shop is. And a few of you have been buying them and I'm just really excited because it's like new for me. And yeah, I'm just, I'm overwhelmed with it. So now it's time to go get Juliet. She is in the stable still because I didn't take her out in the field this morning because she's already been out quite a lot recently. So I didn't have the chance to take her out today because it's not really needed. So yeah, I am going to do a little montage of me getting ready and getting her ready. Good girl, Juliet. Stand for me while I quickly give you a little groom. Good girl. That's it. Good girl. Stand. Well done. Oh my god, I'm so proud of you. Good girl. Well done. Let's get this saddle pad on you. That's it. Good girl. Standing. Now let's get your saddle on. Good girl, Juliet. Really nice. Well done. One, two, three. There we go. Good girl. So as you can see, I am giving Juliet a little warm up before we go into jumping. If you haven't done riding before, it's always good to warm up your horse to get their leg muscles stretching and give them a nice little warm up so they are ready to jump or do whatever exercise they're doing you kind of compare it to when you're about to do exercise yourself you always have a little warm-up so you don't pull any muscles and really you're just ready for anything um, that might come up so I just did some trot walk canter with her um, not in that order obviously but yeah I just did some circles as well to get her on a different leg I changed the rein a few times 
I was on my own doing this. Usually I have my instructor with me or at least my mum, but I just had a tripod in the middle of the arena and I just kept swapping it from different angles. So you guys can see um, Juliet working. I did some comb work on her. Usually Maverick doesn't like these because he gets really scared, which is very like, <laughs> it's, it's very normal for Maverick to get scared because he is still a baby and he gets scared really easily. Literally he will rear and he will buck at birds, plastic bags, cones, water jumps, which is understandable, but I, I absolutely love Maverick and all my horses, so I love their their personality they have. I'm not gonna talk this whole time just because I really want you guys to enjoy this little little montage. So yeah, I will see you in a bit. Okay, so that was a really tiring jumping session and I'm really tired now and I'm ready for my tea. So I'm gonna get off Julia and lead her to the stable, untack her, um, give her a little wash to get all that sweat off. Um, I'm also gonna get off my helmet and my gloves um, because every time I finish riding, I don't know if anyone else gets this, but I get a really sweaty head and sweaty hands from wearing the gloves and the helmet. Uh, so I really hope I'm not the only one. <laughs> but yeah, it's time to wash her and just get her ready to go back in her stall. I am gonna turn her out tonight, so she is gonna get some time in the field. Now we're done with Juliet, I just want to go over this new horse you've all been seeing. So I recently got a new horse called Lee. I don't know if any of you follow my Instagram, but I got a new horse called Lee. Uh, he is a nine year old gilding. He is 16.2 hands and of course he is a cob. Um, you know I love my cobs if you've been following me for a while. So I just wanted to show you what I did on the day of picking him up. So I went into the car and it's connected to the trailer so that I can bring him home. It's got his hay net in there, some nice bedding for him and I think a little water bucket in case he gets thirsty because it's a little bit of a drive. So I drove to Steve's farm and it was time to pick him up. We picked him up at around five uh, because that's the time I usually um, finish work so I went to go pick him up and like I said it was a bit of a drive I had my mum with me um, just for like safety reasons we finally arrived and Lee was in the field we decided to watch him in the field for a little while just to see what he was like around other horses 
He was so sociable around other horses and was so nice to see. So that's that's good. We took him home straight after that and obviously we let him settle in the car for a little while before we drove off. Uh, here I am getting him out of the trailer. He was such a good boy in the trailer. I didn't get trailer cam because I forgot to set it up. So that's why I didn't get to show a trailer cam of him in the trailer. So I gave him a little pet before getting his halter on and leading him out because I wanted to make sure that he understood that I wasn't going to do anything. And then it was time to settle him in the field. Um, there were no horses in the field. It was just so that he could, you know, stretch his legs and just get a little feel for the area. This is what he looks like. He's such a goofball. He has similar personalities to Tequila mixed with Maverick. He is quite a gentle little soul. He doesn't buck, rear or bite, which is so good considering half my horses um, buck and rear and bite, except from Juliet. Juliet's the only one that won't bite me or buck me off or anything. So here's a little field cam of him having a little, having a little stretch and a run around, which is so cute to see. So I'll let you enjoy that. I want to go over something that happened really bad at the stables recently. So someone trespassed into the fields today. So my stable is a private yard, meaning it's just people that board here and everything. So no one else is allowed to come in here. So it's, it's private. And someone, I don't know, no one knew, just a random stranger came into the field of Maverick and started fussing around him and doing weird stuff and it was just a bit weird so here is the um like the security camera footage we have security cameras all around the stables just in case things like this happen because we've had this before as you can see she was she was looking a little bit off at the first start she was walking around looking around her so she knew she was trespassing because she was crouching every so often hiding behind bushes and then she started running into the field of where Maverick was. This is when I got really scared watching this over. I was showing this to, poli to the police and as you can see Maverick was really distressed. I have never seen him so distressed in my life. He was bucking, rearing, showing all signs of distress. And I obviously was at home so I couldn't review this footage. Um, I think it only went over to the stable which I think I might have to change because I, I want to know when my horse is getting, like, stolen, if you get what I mean. And then she pursued him. This, you have to be crazy to pursue a horse that is acting like that. And then she ran away and he chased after her before the fence came up, so he didn't go past the fence. So this is the little document of how to be careful. It just goes over what she looks like, the details, um, please report it to the police if you see her. So a little disclaimer, this is realistic role play and this is not real at all. Um, this is all for role play purposes. This didn't actually happen. So please don't worry. And if you have any concerns, please message me on YouTube or Instagram or comment below. That is the end of the video. I am so excited um, to have this out. I really hope you all enjoyed. I honestly missed doing videos, having that time off, but now I'm back. I'm really excited to continue doing um, filming. I am currently looking for um, actors to help in my videos. I am on the Cupcake Valley um, server UK. So if you really want to help me um, be an actor for the videos, um, please make sure to message me on Instagram and I will message you back. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Bye.